Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's a very, very short day for me today. I only have to work literally three hours, so I'm very happy about that. We're going to get the weekend started sooner rather than later. It's also very rainy outside today, so I will not be taking my walk break. I will be running seven miles after work, so there is that. I also get to watch a film at work today. We're going to watch Lion. Um, so yeah, three hours of work, two hour film, and an hour of working out. That's my day. So let me show you what I'm having for breakfast, lunch, and snack. It is abbreviated because it's an abbreviated day and I will be home probably by four-ish. Um, so yeah, here's what I got. I feel like I have a ton of points today for some reason, so I'm having a one point cup of coffee today instead of zero points. I'm having a one tablespoon of International Sugar Free Caramel, International Delight Sugar Free Caramel Macchiato. One tablespoon is one point. I'm using one tablespoon of fat free half and half for zero smart points and one tablespoon of sugar free hazelnut for zero smart points. So the coffee all together will be one point. And then I'm having um, some more oatmeal, which I'm super excited for. This is the pumpkin spice oatmeal. So let me run down for you what's inside. I have one fourth cup of dry oats for two smart points, a half cup of almond milk for zero smart points, one tablespoon of raisins for one smart point, a half cup of water, two tablespoons of pumpkin puree for zero smart points, a teaspoon of cinnamon for zero, and two sweetener packets for zero. So this jar total has three smart points and I'm hoping it cooks up as creamy and yummy as the PB2 one did. So yum, I'm excited for that. Three smart points in oatmeal. My lunch today is just the turkey wrap because I will be eating lunch very close to breakfast. I will be eating this in the movie, so I'm just having the wrap only. I'm not gonna be super hungry. So I have the One Smart Point Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap. I have one Kraft Fat-Free Singles for zero smart points. I have five slices of turkey breast for zero smart points. One teaspoon of relish for zero jalapeno mustard for zero and apple slices on the top for zero so that is my favorite lunch wrap my one point turkey wrap and then for snack which i will probably have on the way home from the gym from work is a zero point apple so everything all together for today is four five five smart points um until i get home i might have another snack when I get home. So I will touch base with you later on. It is raining so hard. I walked from one building to the other, like these buildings are side by side and I am soaked. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not running outside. It's 2.30 in the afternoon and I am the only one in the gym. That's nice, huh? Why can't it be like this on a weeknight after work? Hmm. Here I am, ready to go my seven miles. Got my earbud, gonna listen to my audiobook and get this sucker done. That's how miserable it is outside right now. 
Thankfully, we are home safe and sound, nice and warm with the heaters going. I'm in my pajamas and ready for a comfy, cozy Friday evening. Because it's so cold, I am really craving something warm and hot, like, but something carby. So I want like a really carby, comforting, warm soup. I decided to show you guys how to make congee. Congee is a rice porridge, which is Chinese. Um, it's a Chinese soup, but I think they also make a Vietnamese version, a Korean version. Um, so basically, it's just rice that is boiled to death to make a very thick rice porridge or rice soup. You can make it as thick as you want or as thin as you want. I, I like mine kind of medium, so um, like maybe the consistency of oatmeal but maybe a little thinner so it's a little soupier so I'm gonna try and make one portion tonight because I don't want leftovers and Eddie doesn't eat soup so I'm going to try and make one portion and I just want it really basic uh, usually they will cook it with um, chicken or pork or sausage, some vegetables. I just want something very basic and very comforting and very low in points. So I'm just going to do a basic congee with um, some vegetables. I think maybe just some onion, a bit of green onion and a little bit of chicken broth or chicken flavoring. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of egg whites um, because they will add some protein and some creaminess to the soup. So let me show you what I've got going on. Okay, so basic congee is literally just regular rice boiled with enough water to make a creamy, soupy consistency. So it's, it's actually a rice porridge. Um, I am going to try and make just one serving, so I'm going to start with a quarter cup of rice. If you're going to make more, I would recommend starting with a cup of rice. So the ratio is for a medium consistency porridge, you want one cup of rice and ten cups of water. I'm going to use a quarter cup of rice and... and two and a half cups of water. Okay, so we're just gonna let that come to a boil. I'm not very particular on the type of rice that I use. Um, so what I'm using tonight is parboiled, enriched parboiled long grain rice. And that's only because that's what I have in the house at the moment. So. Um, you're going to get different consistencies depending on what kind of rice you use. Um, some people are purists and will use uh, one specific kind, but I really don't care, so I'm using what I have. Also, in place of the water, you can obviously use chicken broth or beef broth or even vegetable broth to make it more flavorful. Uh, some people will start out with these broths and cook the rice in the broth. Or if you prefer, you can add any flavorings, um, pretty much any flavorings you want once the porridge is done. Okay, our rice water is boiling now, so I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. Um, we're gonna next just simmer this pretty much until it's the consistency that you want. You'll need to come back and check on it at least maybe every 15 minutes or so. Um, when you do that, stir it up a little, um, just make sure that nothing's sticking to the bottom, it's not burning, and make sure that it is still simmering. So what we've got going on so far is just a quarter cup of raw rice and some water. One quarter cup of uncooked rice is five smart points, so all we've got so far for this big pot is five smart points. I will check back with you guys once it's cooked up a little more. This could be a while. Okay, it's been 40 minutes and here is my soup so far. Um, it is, most of the liquid is gone after 40 minutes, um, but it's not really creamy and thick like porridge consistency yet. It's close, um, but it's not quite there. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to first of all add a couple ingredients to this that I want to cook with the congee as well. 
um, but I'm also going to add another cup of water because I want it to be more, I want it to be thicker and creamier. Um, so, and I want the rice itself, if you can see the rice granules, I want the rice to break down a little more than that. So it will be creamier and more porridge-like rather than just rice. So I'm gonna add another cup of water. Um, I've got another cup of water that I'm going to add and I'm going to turn the heat up a little so it can continue to simmer and then so I'm also going to add right now some ingredients that I want to cook a little bit with the rice so what I'm going to add to my rice tonight is um, some green onions so I have five green onions chopped here I'm going to add green onions to the congee, get all those in there. And then I'm also gonna add some egg whites and I wanna add egg whites because it will help with the creaminess and also provide a little protein, which will help fill me up. Um, so the green onions obviously are zero smart points. If you remember, the quarter cup of uncooked rice is five smart points, the green onions are zero smart points, and then a third a cup of these all whites is zero smart points. So I'm going to add a third a cup of these all whites to the pot and stir those in. So, so far we're still at five smart points. And then the last thing I'm going to add, because I don't have any kind of chicken broth or even like some chicken bouillon or dry chicken powder or soup powder. Um, I've got nothing like that in the house right now. So what I'm gonna add to help flavor my soup is this, um, this tofu spinach miso soup. So this is basically just a, a miso soup. It comes in packets and each packet is one smart point. So I'm going to add this miso soup to the congee as well. I can't do that one handed. Okay, there's the miso soup powder on top and I'm just gonna stir everything in together and then let this cook up a little more. This consistency actually, it already looks better. Like it already looks kind of porridge-like. So I'm probably just gonna cook this down another little bit. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. I'm just gonna cook it down a little more and then it should be ready to go. So. I'll show you guys once it's at the right consistency. Okay, I feel like once I added the egg white and that extra cup of water, this just really came together. This is exactly the consistency I wanted. The rice is pretty much broken down and it looks really creamy and kind of thick, but not too thick. In fact, I this is probably perfect, but I may add another quarter cup of water and just stir it in. Um, but this is pretty darn near perfect. Um, after I added the egg whites and that last cup of water, I really only cooked it for like maybe another two minutes because it just, it was just like bam, perfect. So I'm gonna measure this out so I can see how much I'm getting. Um, I did a quarter cup of rice and I've used, let's see, one, two, three and a half cups of water so far. So let's see how much soup we get out of that. Okay, so after everything cooked down, I got one and three fourths cup of soup out of the entire batch. So one and three fourths cup is not too shabby. Uh, that is a serving for me. I'm gonna count that as a serving since this is a dinner meal for me. And that is a total of six smart points. So um, this, it, it's so creamy and delicious. It's you know what, I didn't even add that quarter cup of liquid, so I think I'm gonna add another quarter cup of water and stir it in. So I'm gonna call this two cups even of soup. So that is six smart points for two cups, it's three smart points per cup. Now remember, you can add literally anything you want to flavor the rice. You can make it sweet by adding um, cinnamon, raisins, uh, brown sugar, you can make it more savory and more of a meal by adding some protein like some chicken and some vegetables. You can add fish if you wanna make like a fish 
uh, rice stew. You can literally add anything you want to this rice porridge. You can make it any flavor you want. You can add as many smart points as you want or as few as you want. I tried to make this um, as flavorful as I could for as few smart points as I could and also remember I just wanted to do one serving so I think this was a total win and here's my finished dinner this is congee soup which is a rice porridge my bowl is full to the brim and this is a total of six smart points perfect on a super cold rainy night six smart points in the bowl and then I'm also having eight ounces of red wine for seven smart points and this